Question 19. The following figure shows the right pyramid VABCD. The base ABCD of a pyramid is a square of side 8 cm. As you can see, the length of the slanting edges VA is equals to VB is equals to VC is equals to VD is equals to 10 cm. So you can see the diagram there. So the right pyramid of the slant heights are equal. First question. Calculate A. The vertical height of the pyramid correct to two decimal places. Vertical height. So to get the vertical height, we shall need first to draw a straight line from A to C. From A to C. And then the height, we create the center. The center of that line or the midpoint of AC will be there. And it is from this center that we shall create a height. So the height will be there. So this will be the height. You can call this uh, midpoint of AC to be O, point O. Now to get the vertical height, we'll need to consider triangle VOC. For triangle VOC, we have VC is 10 centimeters. So we need to get the length OC. And to get OC, uh, since uh, the base the base is a uh, square and uh, being a square all these uh, angles here these are right angles so if we use triangle abc so triangle abc is a right angled is a right angled triangle and we can use that to get ac so therefore ac so ac will be given by that is the hypotenuse uh, 8 squared that is ab plus bc so that will be given by 8 squared plus 8 squared you get the square root of that using pythagoras theorem so this will give 64 plus 64 which will give the square root of 128 so get the square root of 128 which will give 11.31 11.31 centimeters that is ac so to get oc OC will be OC will be a half of AC because O is the midpoint. So OC will be a half times 11.31. So we simply take 11.31, we divide by 2, that will give 5.6, 5.657. So that is OC. Now having OC as, so this one here is 5.65. Seven and we have uh, ten. We have VC is ten. Now in that right angle triangle VOC, we have we can now calculate the height uh, using Pythagoras theorem. So VO, so VO, which is the height, now will be given by. We consider that triangle VOC. Uh, hypotenuse is ten, so it will be ten squared minus uh oc squared 5.5.656 squared you get the square root of that so that is what you're supposed to do so this will be 100 minus 5.656 squared will be the square root of 68.001 and when we get the square root of that this will give 8.247 centimeters so that is the vertical height vo we go to part b the surface area of the pyramid the surface area of the pyramid now to get the surface area of the pyramid we need to get the area of all the surfaces and we are going to begin with the base the base is a square the base which is a square and the area of the square will be given by eight centimeters by eight centimeters eight centimeters times eight centimeters this will give 64 centimeters squared then we have all the slant faces they are equal all the slant faces this one is a right pyramid so all the slant slant faces are equal the slant heights are 10 so if you're able to get the area of uh, just one v a b this is 10 this is 10 and uh, this one is 8 so if you're able to get the area of one face we just need to multiply by by four because there are four slant faces so how do we get the area of this one slant face which is in the shape of a triangle and this is a triangle with all the measurements given so the easiest way is to use the heroes formula so we can use the heroes formula so the slant faces is eight this is ten this is ten so use the heroes formula 
and the heroes formula goes like this so we shall first uh, add we add uh, first of all let me write it here s s minus a s minus b s minus c where s is half the sum of all the faces that is a uh, 10 plus 10 plus 8 and this will give so this will be 28 to be 14 so s is 14 simply get half the sum of the length of all the three land length so we can take this as uh, a this is as b and eight as c so we just substitute so this will be the square root of s is 14 then 14 minus a is 10 14 minus b is 10 then 14 minus 8 this c it will give 14 multiply by 14 minus this will be 4 times 4 times 6 so when you get the square root of this now 14 times 4 times 4 times 6 this will give uh, the square root of 13 44 and this will give get the square root of this you get 36.66 centimeters squared so that is the area of one slant face so to get uh, all of them because there are four we simply multiply this one by four and this one when you multiply it by four you get 24 we get uh, so the square root of um, so you multiply by four we get 146.6 that now for the first part uh, the first part just a uh, point to note here part a calculate the vertical height of the pyramid correct two decimal places uh, correct two decimal places forgot to write this one correct two decimal places this is supposed to be 8.25 it's very important to note that two decimal places 8.25 so let's proceed with the other one uh, so after multiplying uh, by four to get the area of all the slant faces we get that now the total area will therefore be the base we got the area of the base is um, 64 then we add the area of all the slant faces which is on 46.6 centimeters squared so this will be 64 plus 146.6 so this will give 210.6 centimeters squared so that is the total surface area then part c the volume of the pyramid uh, the first thing you need to understand is how do you get the volume of the pyramid so volume of the pyramid is given by that base area times height we have that times the base the base is a square the base is a square measuring 8 by 8 so the base area will therefore be 8 times 8 then times the height we got the height from the first part uh, the vertical height we got it as uh, 8.25 8 so that will give us the volume so we have um, 64 multiply by 8.25 get that then we divide by 3 so that will give 100 and 76 so 176 centimeters cubed so that is how you're supposed to solve that question